A bird radar system is built up out of one or more radar sensors that scan the environment, a data processing center, and different interfaces to control the system and display the results. Let's start by explaining the three types of radar sensors we use. The horizontal X-band radar is 8 feet long and rotates 45 times every minute. It is capable of identifying small birds up to 2.5 kilometers and large birds or flocks at a range of around 5 kilometers. The blue area in the animation shows the effective part of the radar beam and how it scans the area. The normal viewing angle is 10 degrees above ground level. The same radar can be placed on its side, using it to vertically scan the sky. A larger variant is the S-band radar. It is 3 meters 60 long and normally rotates 24 times every minute. The S-band radar can identify large birds in up to 10 kilometers distance and 2 kilometers in height. The third type of sensor marks the second generation in the industry of avian radar. Where previous sensors originally built for marine purposes, this FMCW radar is purpose-built by Robin, specifically for bird monitoring. This sensor has three operating modes. In the staring mode, the user can select a specific area of interest to which the radar automatically points and fixates. A second mode is the scanning mode. The radar rotates horizontally and vertically at the same time. It scans a 360-degree area, gathering location information of all birds in the range of 3.5 kilometers. The third mode is called the tracking mode. When the user is interested in a specific target, the FMCW can pinpoint and track it without losing it out of sight. While doing so, it measures the bird's wing beat frequency as one important variable to determine what type of bird it is. Combining a vertical X-band with a horizontal S-band radar provides three-dimensional information within the fixed overlapping area. Birds are identified including information about their location, speed, direction and height. The size of reflections, combined with their distance, can also be used for classifications to distinguish between small birds, large birds and flocks. The S-band radar can also be combined with the FMCW radar using all of its flexible capabilities. Given its ability to measure wing beat frequencies, the 3D flex configuration provides information that goes beyond classification towards the level of distinguishing species. The data processing center is well protected in a shock and waterproof housing with gasketed, removable doors. Inside, eight elastomeric shock absorbers hold a 30-inch rack in place containing the different layers of hardware. The rack console, the bird monitoring system, the registration system, the UPS, the horizontal radar. When a horizontal radar is combined with a vertical radar, they share the same bird monitoring system, rack console and UPS. The vertical radar does, however, require its own registration system and control unit. The rack console only serves as a local interface to monitor the technical status of the systems. Monitoring birds, however, is done remotely, for example on a laptop in the field. To perform flawlessly under working environments where weather conditions and physical abuse are unavoidable, we used ruggedized laptops. In most cases, however, users are located in an office or air traffic control tower using a regular desktop computer connected to the internet. The Robin Visualizer displays the results from the different filter techniques that took place in the bird monitoring system. Tracking is done using a clever tracking algorithm. It connects different plots belonging to the same target, revealing a bird's flight path as a red line. 
the diameter of the circle around the target indicates its size. The yellow line starts at the next predicted location and indicates its course. Its length represents the speed of the bird. For orientation, users can select a map or Google Earth as background. Many clients use our systems not for real-time monitoring, but to study information gathered over a longer period of time. To facilitate this offline analysis, Robin developed a report generator. Features like these all emerge from working closely together with ecologists, bird control departments, and air traffic controllers. Robin Radar Systems is continuously improving its systems. There is more to come. We kindly invite you to learn all about it.